New reports came out where Mike Pence uh, reportedly had used, had once used a private email address to conduct official state business while he was the governor of Indiana. Oops. Now, this is according to public records uh, requests. Now, uh, Pence had reportedly used the account to communicate with advisors about issues, including Homeland Security in Indiana and the security of the gates of the governor's mansion. Now, this is according to reporting. Uh, see, uh, the Indianapolis Star, what they did is that they filed an open records request, and now uh, they have about 29 pages of email records from uh, the current governor. Uh, uh, the current governor's office. So these were these were Pence emails. Now, under Indiana law, public officials are allowed to use their personal email accounts, and the practice can help them avoid using official accounts to uh, conduct political business. Now, the Star notes the law is generally interpreted to require public officials to save any of their emails, so that uh, because well, to save the emails that are related to public uh, official public business in order to follow these open records laws. So you got to save those. Now, a Penn spokesman said he complied with that requirement. So what is, what's going on here is that these emails, keeping them, is legal under Indiana law. You can use your private email address as long as you keep them, as long as you have the records here that you can show. Now, it's not the same, obviously, as Hillary Clinton. So that's what everybody keeps going to. They keep going to, no, no, Hillary Clinton, but what about Hillary? What about Hillary's email? Calm down. Calm down, neoliberals. It's not quite the same, although there are some parallels here, and I'm going to kind of address those. Now, when it comes to private uh, email servers and when it comes to private email itself through services such as Gmail or Hotmail or Outlook or whatever, in this case, AOL, <laughs> AOL, LOL, um, I'm not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> I used to use the discs as like frisbees. So anyway, um, look, when you use a, a, a public uh, or I should say a, a private email through one of these servers or services, it's not as secure. And this is one of the problems that I had with Clinton's email server. And look, she was reportedly hacked at one point. And we don't know if that's entirely true, but there are reports saying that she might have been hacked. Her server might have been hacked at some point. And that's because, of course, private email accounts, they are less secure. They're less secure than government accounts uh, and are usually not preserved for use um, in public records in quite the same way. So it is a little bit more difficult to go and get some of these uh, some of these email records. So that's another problem. Now, speaking to of hacking, Pence's email was hacked. The report says Pence's uh, account was compromised by a standard phishing attack in late spring of 2016. And this is according to Trump administration official. Uh, the breach became public knowledge when everyone in this contact list received emails claiming that the governor and his wife were stranded in the Philippines and needed to be wired money. Isn't that funny? Oh, we're stranded in the we're stranded in the Philippines. We need you to send cash. We need it to we need you to send cash now. But wait, doesn't Pence have the money? <laughs> and nobody sent money too, by the way. So uh <laughs> very interesting. But uh speaking of phishing attacks, right? Because that's that's how we got attacked. Well, that's also how the DNC got hacked. Remember, Tony Podesta uh was hacked because he clicked on a, you know, a phishing scam, uh, and that's how they got into the DNC servers. Whoever did it got into the DNC servers and allowed them to steal all of those emails, which then, of course, WikiLeaks uh, got a hold of and then released. So, <laughs> and, and AOL, man, really? AOL? Now, when Pence's account was compromised, as soon as he found out, he shut it down and switched to a more secure system. Thank goodness. And then to another when he took on a national role. So if he's using a, a secure uh, email account, that's great. That's what we want him to do. Now, responding to reports about the personal email account, uh, his, uh, the vice president's press secretary, Mark Lauder, issued a statement saying, well, this is just like what other governors had done. And that's actually true. Now, he also says Pence maintained a state email account and a personal email account. 
But again, he was using his personal email account to send official state business, and that's a no-no. Now, addressing the question of where those emails are now, Lauder says that he's prepared to work in Washington. Pence had directed outside counsel to review all of his communications and ensure that all state-related emails are being transferred and properly archived by the state. So, look, again, this is why, and I said the same thing about Clinton, you don't use a personal email server or a personal email uh, account to handle official state or national business. Now, was there anything classified in this? I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> Nothing that's really high intelligence or uh, high, uh, uh, very, uh, basically anything that's classified. We don't know. Normally, people on the state level don't get access to national security stuff for the most part. Though some of the articles do note that some of Pence's emails were deemed a little too sensitive to be released as part of the Star's public record request. So there was some sensitive details in there. We don't know quite what those are. Furthermore, security experts told the paper that hackers were likely to be able to access Pence's inbox and send emails, which could have included those same sensitive documents. Now, I don't know, again, what's in them. I don't know if they're classified. But again, that's the reason that you don't use a private email or a private email server because it's just not secure. It's like these politicians don't seem to understand technology. Oh, sure. Yeah, my hotmail, that's going to be fine. <laughs> State business? No, no problem. Nobody's going to hack into me. No, no. People will hack into you. Now, it's not like they were t uh, that Mike Pence was targeted. No, it's just one of the things when, when you have a standard email services is that some people will send out massive phishing attacks and they'll reel people in. And that's what happened here. It's not somebody targeting Mike Pence because, oh, I got I to gotta take out Mike Pence. No, like I get phishing emails. All my different email accounts. It's just kind of standard with having a uh, public, or I'm sorry, a private email through one of these services. I keep calling it a public, but really that's, I think of it as public, having a hotmail or something like that. But yeah, government is what I mean. Government is more of your private email, but that's what I think of. But anyway, um, and here's another thing that kind of bothers me. Companies like AOL, they're private corporations. Why are you going to do government store or, you know, do government uh, business using their servers? Because that's where these emails end up. You're going to do official state government business using an AOL email or a Hotmail. That's not very secure. I'm just saying. Whoever thought that was a good idea, dumb, dumb, dumb idea. But of course, here comes the hypocrisy about this, right? These same Republicans tend to went after Hillary Clinton for using a private email server. I look, I did too. And she shouldn't have, right? But they said nothing about what they did. And look, nobody in the government should use a private email or a private server. Which, no, don't. Don't do it. But as I've said, others have used both private uh, emails and private servers. In fact, you had a lot of Bush staffers, including Carl, Carl Rove, conducting official business with private email accounts on a server owned and maintained by the RNC, which is a private organization private server and by the way uh they lost about 22 million emails lost they were real they were able to recover some but not all of them there are some out there that will they will never be able to recover these emails again you shouldn't use a private server it doesn't matter who you are now other republicans who used a private email address in office were chris christie scott walker rick perry and marco rubia the same people who went after Hillary Clinton for using a private email and a private email server. Now, I'm not saying that this is the same. I'm not trying to create a false equivalence here. There are some of these governors did use both a government email and a private email. And if you do your government stuff on your government email, that is completely fine. Clinton, however, she uh, used one email for both. And that is a big no-no, as I keep having to point out. But of course, another uh, no-no would be using private emails and private servers, which again are less secure 
and allow you to more easily hide your emails. And that was the whole point. So there's a little bit of hypocrisy in the, on the, on the part of Republicans. Now, the hypocrisy in the part of the Democrats is saying that it's just pointing this out and not admitting that Hillary Clinton using a private server and a private email was a bad thing. So there's enough hypocrisy to go around on this point. Now, there's a, a little bit more here. Um, actually, you know what? I, I, I pretty much addressed the hypocrisy on this. So, look, while this is not the same, there's, there's this parallel. And the issue here is the same. You, there's an issue of accountability and security. Now, some of the stuff with both Pence and Clinton was too sensitive to release under the Open Records Acts. Okay, so with Pence. Yet hackers would be able to penetrate these accounts. And look, we know 100% that hackers did penetrate this account. So what we need to do is we need to rewrite some laws. No more private emails. No more private servers. Let's update our security so that we don't have any more classified information uh, or possible classified information in the case of Clinton uh, into the hands of, of hackers and people that don't have our best interests at heart. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYTNation.